Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone to the Mary Street here at 22 Park Limited on this very happy occasion. My name is Nancy McCauley and in my capacity as an Assistant Registrar for the District of Glasgow, I have been duly appointed to conduct ceremonies here at Park Limited by the Registrar General for Scotland in accordance with the Mary Scotland Act. We are gathered here today to celebrate the marriage of Hugh Stuart Finlay and Helen Grace Maddock in the presence of your witnesses and in accordance with the laws of Scotland. The document I have in my possession is called the marriage schedule. This document has been compiled from the information that Hugh and Helen gave on the marriage notice forms. The fact that I have a schedule in my possession satisfies me that all the legal requirements have been satisfied and no objection having been received, I can now proceed to join you and Helen in marriage. Before we proceed with your ceremony, it is necessary for both of you to identify yourself to me by answering the following question. Are you Hugh Stuart Finlay? Yes. Are you Helen Grace Maddox? The marriage laws of Scotland state that any marriage not conducted in accordance with the bonds of a recognised religion must be contracted by a registrar appointed by the Registrar General of Scotland. In the marriage ceremony, I'll be asking you and Helen to give your consent to the marriage in the form of a declaration that you will both repeat separately after me. It is the declaration that firstly requires them to say that there is no objection to your marriage and secondly, that you are entering into the marriage of your own free will, accepting each other as husband and wife to the exclusion of all others. Q and Helen, your decision to marry is an indication of your love for each other. It shows that you have faith in your future together and it also expresses a commitment towards one another. Marriage is a partnership, but it's something that should not be taken for granted. The basis for a good marriage is founded upon sincerity and trust, involving respect for each other's individual needs. Marriage means making an effort to see each other's point of view. It is two people joined together with an understanding that will deepen with the year. Marriage means having someone to share your life with, having a loved one beside you wherever you go. By loving and caring for each other throughout your marriage, you will make it possible to share all that life has to offer. But love has no limit of time to its endurance. It has no end to its trust and its hopes in every face. You should always receive love with as much understanding as you give it and learn to judge each other not with your mind, but with your heart. I ask you both, when you stand in the presence of your witnesses, to remember these values, to be sincerely interested in each other's happiness, and to be constant and consistent in your love for each other. As we now celebrate the love that you and Helen have for each other, again I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you both of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship you are now about to enter. Would everyone please be upstanding for the new declaration? So if you would you like to come to the table and tell us who is coming to the table? Let's look at the table. Could you go to the If you if you'd like to take Helen's right hand in your right hand, and if you'd like to repeat after me, I, Hugh Stuart Finlay, I, Hugh Stuart Finlay, solemnly declare, solemnly declare, that I know of, that I know of, no legal objection, no legal objection, to my marrying this woman, to my marrying this woman, Helen Grace Maddox, Helen Grace Maddox. And I now accept her and I now accept her as my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. 
King Helen Fuhrer Piazza. I, Helen Grace Mother. I, Helen Grace Mother. Solemnly declare. That I know of, I know of, no legal objection, no legal legal, <laughs> legal objection, to my marrying this man, to my marrying this man, Hugh Stewart Finlay, Hugh Stewart Finlay, and I now accept him, I now accept him, as my lawfully wedded husband, as my lawfully wedded husband. Now Hugh and Helen have their own personal declaration that they want to make. I know that we have to help each other because something is life changing as far as it's most natural thing for us. Nothing makes me happier than thoughts spend the rest of my life with you. And I promise you that you will always have my love. Since I met you, it seemed like we were the same person. You're my best friend and truly the other half of me. I can't imagine how life would be without you. And I love you forever with all my heart. So here is this time I'm going to ask you to take the drink in the left hand, but if I could ask Liam first of all to present you with the ring cushion. And if you'd like to take Helen's ring for me. And if you take Helen's left hand with fingers. Hold around the tip of the finger. And again, if you repeat after me. Did you lift them out, maybe? Did I ask you just to lift them out at all? No. No. Okay. No. Hello there. No. 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 Thank you. 